Hello, and today we play Sonic Generations Episode 4. I'm Ted Vortex, and here we start our mission. Uh, completing task in Green Hill Zone. This mission is beating the stage really fast. Which is why this mission involves using these speed up monitors. Wow. It's basically like a really, really fast version of the stage. I was going to say it's like the stage is on crack or something, but no, that would just harken back to my Sonic Adventure DX Let's Play, where Sonic wouldn't shut up about being on speed. But oh well. Let's see how long I can uh, keep up this high speed chase to the end. What am I chasing? The goal, of course. What are you talking about? It's not going anywhere, so I can't be chasing it. Of course it's going somewhere. Now shut up! Yay, it's an S-break! And now... There's a bell! Okay, I'll get this music thing. Yay! And now I have a key! Hmm, guess I'll go up here, my chemical plant zone. Now, what's this monitor mission? Invincibility challenge, eh? So instead of using speed up shoes, or whatever they're called, this is using the invincibility monitor. You know, it's kind of funny. I like this mission so much that I ended up getting inspired by it uh, in my level layout hack for Sonic the Dark 2. In Emerald Hill Zone's layout, well, custom layout, I decided I would make it so that there was one area, an alternate path, that involved getting invincibility and walking over a bed of spikes. It's completely optional though, so you can avoid it if you don't want to deal with that gimmick. But hey, I'm rambling on here. This mission's pretty cool. Let's see if I'll be able to get an S rank. Yep, I did. Awesome. That's two missions out of three. That's also another bell to get music from. Yay! And here's another key. I might as well battle Melisonic. Face me if you wish to have the cast emerald. And now for a cutscene as we start this rival battle. <laughs> Ah, so classic Metal Sonic is challenging classic Sonic for a rematch at their original battleground. Stardust Speedway, bad future. Man, this remix is pretty catchy. Looks like Metal Sonic's got a powered up move. But he uses up so much energy that he shorts himself out for a little bit there. What's he doing now? Oh, these lampposts? He's actually knocking them into me? That's an interesting attack. Well, too bad. I will defeat him. Looks like he's coming back for more. But I won't give up. No, not at all. In fact, I'll go up here. 
try and get me now. Whoa! He actually did. And eat this! Alright! Let's see how I did. It's an S rank! Awesome! Congrats goes to me! Now hand over that Chaos Emerald! Now I have one Chaos Emerald! Alright! I'll do the last mission in Sea... I mean Sky Sanctuary. I almost said Seaside Hill, but that isn't until later on. Man, I keep calling stages by the wrong name accidentally. Starting with calling Chemical Plant Zone, Green Hill Zone, and now calling Sky Sanctuary Zone, Seaside Hill. That should make sense, right? This mission is pretty interesting. I like the warps and Sky Sanctuary Zone, so this mission is also pretty great. I don't care what anyone else says. Some of the missions and generations are actually really good, although I will concede that most of them are just pretty bland or bad, especially the ones related to uh, helping or fighting the other characters. You know, songs. Friends. Ooh. Who would have ever thought you would have been able to do that? Sometimes the overpowered spin dash comes in handy in this game. Although it really should not be this powerful. Uh oh. That's probably gonna cost me my S ray. Nope, I still got it. I guess that's a fairly lenient mission. And now to get this music. Yay. Oh wait, that was artwork. Well then why was it a note? That's kind of funny that you can get uh, artwork from music notes. And yes, that is the pinball DLC. I did buy it. But I'm not sure if I'll show it off yet. And now I can lock this boss gate. From the music it sounds like it's Eggman. S to be specific, the Death Egg Robot. Take a good look at yourself, Sonic. Dr. Eggman! It's the last look you'll get before I close your eyes forever. <laughs> Another Sonic? What? Wait a second! Alright, Eggman or Robotnik, or whatever you want to call him, it's time to do. What is this, Yu-Gi-Oh? Now watch this! I'll show you my super power of spin dashing! And now this! Ha! This is too easy! Oh! 
Now things are getting interesting. Ha ha! Oh, I messed up. Well, let's see if I can get this right this time. Oh, come on! Collision detection! There we go! Now, I think I only need one more hit. Eat this! Alright! I think I got an S rank! Indeed! Doing good on that so far. I can't believe there's two of me. I think I figured it out. Yeah, me too. Doubles of us? Places and enemies from our past? We're, We're traveling, traveling through, through time, time and space. space! How did this happen? I think it's got something to do with that big thing that just kidnapped Eggman. It sounds like the same thing that kidnapped your friends. Uh, I mean, our friends. You know what I mean. There it is! Where'd it go? We need to find that thing, and fast! Alright, I've unlocked the next area. Starts with City Escape, goes... I mean... Speed Highway, then City Escape, and then... Seaside Hill. Jeez, if I keep up this tradition of calling the stages by the wrong names, people will get pissed at me! <laughs> but anyways, see you guys next episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Going to Speed Highway next!